It's Teresa Rowe's birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Teresa. But it's an unusual celebration. She shares her birthday with many Aboriginal people from around Australia, many from the Stolen Generations. When they were taken away, no one knew their date of birth, so the government just handed them the 17 number, and uh, we're just here to celebrate in, in their memory. Prior to the 1960s, few records were kept of Aboriginal births. Often people were born in the bush or on reserves, where the understanding of time was based around the seasons, not a calendar. In Teresa Rowe's case, she was only given a birthday when she moved to Broome. I went to school, you know, and then they said, oh, well, you got to have your birthday on 1st of July. You know, because we didn't know. We didn't know birthdays, me and my younger sister, because we were two little bush girls hiding away from the welfare. The assigning of birthdays means many people's ages are based on a guess. There was a lot of guessing going on from government as well, and that was, you know, oh, this person may, may be around about three or four years old, so there was a guess going on there. So that's why a lot of our older people don't know how actually old they are. July 1st was not the only date given to Aboriginal people to be their birthday. Some were assigned January the 1st. But it's not known how many people across Australia were affected by the practice. A count-up has never been done. For Mrs Rowe, it's been an emotional day. It'll surprise me. <laughs> because I never have one <laughs> in, my, in my day, you know, when I was growing up. It'll be the first cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Teresa. Erin Park, ABC News, Broome. <laughs>